Uh... Bug got some armor. He did. I think that's about it, actually. He committed a crime and beat up what I'm pretty sure was Magic Columbo. <laughs> and Farron did a bunch of stuff that didn't matter. Yeah. Other than loitering. He's been loitering a lot. <laughs> uh, you slept in Grandma Smithy house. Oh yeah, Bug still has padded armor. Did you, um... <laughs> You haven't put the armor on yet. Oh, that is true. Oh. And, um... I don't think I did anything. Oh, okay. I did one thing. You went on a bench, didn't you? Yeah. No, I just meant spell slot-wise. Epic. I see Bardic Inspiration make it sad. <laughs> Yeah, I probably would have just gone to, uh, like, the inn and just bought a room for the night. Didn't we buff it? What? Oh, no, that was Vicious Mockeries. Has been buffed. Oh, yeah. Wait, did- so, Oh, we did. Um, How much gold should I sh subtract for a room? Uh... Just for one night? Yeah. And breakfast, I guess. Uh, probably one gold Wait. for a modest living. Yes, take a long rest. And in the morning, I'll go back and loiter at the lo loitering bench. Dish. Dish. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you could copy and paste that. You can copy and paste anything. The sky's the limit. Oh, that just reminded me. Uh, at, at work, we use this program to, like, do all the, like, sharding. Yeah. And I figured out you could put emojis in it. And so, oh, Joe no. broke the operating <laughs> system for an entire hospital. Joe becoming devious once he realizes he can break the entire <laughs> York <laughs> fucking hospital operating system. I don't know if any, anybody's ever tried me <laughs> before. It's just, it's just really funny. I put pensive in someone's... Sure. Uh oh! No, you got Joe's no, Joe's address. No. <laughs> My name is Walter Hartwell White. <laughs> I live. <laughs> That's just a dog, man. <laughs> um. Yeah. Let me pull up the map. Sitting on the bench. Um, yeah, so, Bug, I think you kind of wake up first, because you're, I don't know if you're excited to try on your new armor or anything, but. I, I think Bug is pretty excited. He went to yeah. bed at a reasonable hour, he's full of energy. Um, when you wake up and go outside to see the armor, um, you see that, uh, the, the, uh, The uh, oh shit. Uh oh. The dwarf oh, is shit on my armor. <laughs> <laughs> I completely forget what I named her. Uh let me check. Um you named her uh, nope, that's Tom Rincewin. Oh, I remember now. I remember, I remember. Um you see Aaron, uh Aaron Strongarm. It's <laughs> standing like, over it, kind of looking at it, uh, and, like, she seems to have 
like, been able to, like, pour, I don't know, some sort of, like, liquid over it, and it's, like, it is finished. Whoa! That sure is a nice set of armor! Yes! It is. So, uh... I'm not sure what you put it in, put in it, but it is a. Uh, it has a very strange property. I'm pretty sure I put in like metal and stuff in it, some leather, you know, the standard stuff. Your, your uh, ring, the gem. Oh, oh, the bone breaking gem, yeah. Hopefully, it doesn't shatter my whole body instantly when I put it on. No, I think it does something much more useful. I mean, that is pretty useful, though. Yeah. If I want to, like, dodge a draft, I just get in the armor. Aha. <laughs> oh, why don't you try it on? Uh, Bug kind of steps forward, has and kind of, like, looks to either side. Like, uh, right, right now? You sure? It does look pretty cool. Let's see if it fits. Welp. Okay. Bug lets out a big sigh and he takes the, the cloak off. He's once again just naked. <laughs> he just walks towards the armor. Um, Alright, so uh, I guess I probably put like that there, that there. And he's like touching the armor, like trying to figure out what goes where when he, to put it on. It's she like cool. puts it like upright so you, you're not like disoriented. And she's like kind of like pointing with her like stumps like towards like buckles and and things um you put it on it's considerably heavy it's like 12 pounds um Ooh. And after around, I think it's five minutes it takes to don and off heavy armor. Uh, I think it, uh, it should have been, uh, I think Bug, it's medium. Unless you did make it heavy armor, but he doesn't have proficiency in heavy. Oh, uh, medium armor. The, the differences between the, the, the two are very uh, minute in terms of differences in looks. It's kind of arbitrary. Okay. It's uh... Yeah, it is half plate. Whoa! And I guess it's 40 pounds instead of 12. Oof! But are you deal? Um... Oh, big boy, she, she says, I cannot wield a weapon, but it has properties that make you more than you seem. I mean, I think my charming personality and my ability to kill makes me more than I seem. Of course. See what's it do? Um, she like picks up a a like um like a dagger and like tries to like slash across your armor. <gasps> Bug like puts his hands up reflectively. Wait, I want to show you. Uh, okay, just try not to stab me in the hole. Okay. Oh, it just covers my hole! And Bug, like, feels his chest. D boy, do I feel safe! She has the, like, dagger between, like, her two, like, hand stumps kind of barely holding on. And she, like, slashes at your chest. Not, like, a piercing, but, like, a slashing. And, um, because her grip is really weak, um, 
like you feel the kind of energy in the armor um kind of react to the blade and like an explosion comes out of your chest and it knocks the dagger like 20 feet away it's okay you'll get better This armor is enchanted with your enchantment. Your... You might make a good smith one day. I think I make a goody, a pretty good bug today. Ah. Bug looks at her confused. Well, I hope you do good deeds with this armor. I will try. That is the whole goal, that I can use this armor to protect those that need protecting. And really just, uh, keep on living and doing my best. Uh, so, out of game, the stance of the armor uh, is... It, it's regular half plate, but if an enemy rolls a one against you, it's like reactive armor that blows up and sends their weapon flying and maybe injuring the enemy at my discretion. <laughs> That is awesome. <laughs> uh, is there anything else I should know about the armor? You should oil it and take care of it. All right, good to know. I, I have some, uh, I think I probably have some oil. Protect it from rust. Corrosion. I hate rust. Anyways, I hear you have adventuring to do. It would appear so. Me and the fellas, I think, are going to look for some work so you need protecting. You don't need anything else, do you? My revenge will come in time. Do you want, like, a payment for the armor? Because, like, I got your tools back, but I, I do have money. Whatever you can spare, I no longer have means of income. Yeah, let me just uh, fish around here. Okay, um... Uh, I got, uh, I got 20 of this weird currency, and Bug pulls out, like, 20 ele uh, Electrum. Do you want this? She holds out her stumpy hands. Here you go. And Bug, like, tries to gently put the Electrum where she can keep it and not drop it on the ground. Because I imagine when you don't have hands, picking stuff off the ground can be hard. Yes. Well, uh, you're always welcome back in my home. Thank you, you're always welcome to my home, but you don't know where it is, and also, uh, it might be a bit of a travel. Also, sometimes there's like a, a, a big, a big, uh, sometimes, like, people just die, so my home might not be the best place for you, but you are welcome there. She just kind of nods. Well, with that, I think, um, I think I'm just gonna spend the morning just, uh, waiting for everyone else to get up. You want me to make breakfast? Or make, make Pierre make breakfast? Hi, um, I do wonder what you would consider breakfast. 
What, like, I would consider breakfast? Sure, make me breakfast. Make everyone breakfast, if you so choose. Alright. Uh, let me just, uh, I guess I'm just gonna go see what you have in your kitchen. I guess a bug would go to the kitchen. Can you do a athletics check? Actually, dexterity. Lord help me. Um, you like start going through the cabinets, and you're just very loud and like clang everything. Clang, clang, clang. And everybody <laughs> just wakes up to bug going through cabinets. Except Farron, because he's in the Blanchin. It's <laughs> true. He's l living up in the Blanchin. <laughs> you can't do this to me. <laughs> Wait, do you know what that's from? Yeah! No! <laughs> you can't do this to me! Live up in the Blanchin! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... I get, I, you flashbang me. Oh fuck! So I guess um, everyone hearing Bug, Bug thinks to himself, "Man, I should probably like not wear the armor in the mornings or something." That's a bad idea. Anyway, uh, Bug looks around for stuff, probably like some eggs, perhaps a, a sausage, maybe some like stuff to make like a like a breakfast porridge. Uh yeah, uh, there are some oats. Uh, garlic and onions, um, a lot of, like, cold time vegetables, I think. Yeah, vegetables, um, things that will, like, last w well in the winter. Hmm. All right, uh... Let's see here with the oats. Uh, I guess um, Bug's attempt would probably be uh, to cook the oats, chop up some like garlic and onions, and maybe like a uh, any sort of stock he could find, like a bone, to make like a savory oat dish. That's Bug's idea of breakfast, I think. Mm, can you roll a performance check? My rolls, what? Don't mind the 16 on a roll of four. <laughs> uh, this is surprisingly well done. Um, at least the presentation looks good. Uh, but you can see Pierre having like a nightmare. That's about the best I got. Breakfast, everyone. Breakfast is ready. Where did you go, Pierre? Uh, wait, not not Pierre. Uh, Pocket to self and third I was gonna person. Say, yeah, I thought you were doing like a weird self like that. That freaked me out. I was like, "What the fuck?" Where did you go, Pierre? Well, let Joe, me see. <laughs> Joe went too deep into the DM role. Yeah, he's he's over here carving stuff in in the ice. He's kind of bored. Uh, you you see um like dock workers. Just like milling about, like kind of getting the boats ready for the day. Uh, the ice is like starting to break up, or not like ready for the day, but like getting the boats ready to like re. They probably haven't sailed in a while yet. Yeah. Guys, so. Um, but the ice is like kind of melting. Roll a d100. Me? Yeah. Uh-oh. So the guard walks into your hotel room. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. 
Wait, isn't Farron outside? Yeah, he is. Okay. Oh, I, I forgot that. Yeah, he's on the bench. No, he's over here now. Holy shit, is that fair and throne lock? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, you notice someone putting, like, flyers up. Uh, like, just kind of plastering them to, like, walls and stuff. Uh, like, on the building behind you, and also, you see that they've made their way through town, um, putting up flyers. I'll take a look at it. On uh, these buildings? It appears to be a, like, Rovarian, uh, like, scribe or official, not wearing armor, but, um, an official, but you recognize their colors, and, uh, it looks like a notice, uh, and it says looking for any information about the murder and then it shows a picture of the person. Who does it look like? Uh, it looks like a kind of a young lady that looks a little mysterious. A little bit like a sorcerer. Is it like the the person who got murdered, or is that the person who they think did it? That's the person who say? got murdered. Mm, okay. I'll, uh, I'll go try to find the rest of the group. Uh, and, like, below it, it says, um, Spirus Clem... Clementina, like as the name, mm -hmm. um, and it says uh, "head bashed in." Mm -hmm. Damn! <laughs> Wonder what happened to her. <laughs> uh, you make your way over to uh, kind of the center of town. Do you know where? It yeah, you know where everyone went. Uh, I saw them the night before, yeah. Yeah, so I'll probably come from, like, over here. Or, go around, yeah. Uh, you see, like, everyone kind of eating, uh, Bug's food. Um... Like, inside. Oh, okay. I'll just, like, peek my head in and say, Uh... I'll be outside the northern gate when all of you are ready. Okay. I would prefer if you sped up the consumption. I'll explain outside. The consumption is what killed my father. <laughs> what? 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 I don't know. Sounded good. You can hear, like... You can hear him laughing as he walks back down the street at your comment. And he's just gonna make his way to the northern gate. And he'll wait just outside of it for the for everyone else. Alright, everyone, you kind of, like, just eat your food. Uh, not a lot of talk this morning. Um, you, you kind of, like, look around, and this home is, like, very old and dusty. It's just kind of run down. Damn, bitch, you look like this? What? So, I think... Anybody else would like to do before we move on? Take that as a note. 
Um, so you all kind of just pack up your things, um, like getting ready to meet Farron from the Northern Gate. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm gonna take a 10 minute break real quick. Alright. Yay. Yeah.